on the bridge. Computer, wine, red, Merlot. Computer, wine, red, Merlot. Welcome to another episode of Tech Tips here at D-Lab Electronics. Not only are we going to have a tech tip on this Johnson Ranger transmitter, but I'm also going to introduce the new viewer in the shop. And this viewer is going to provide some new functionality for D-Lab, which I'll show you at the end of the video. So on with the show! Engage! Tech tip of the day. Why is it of value to put push to talk into your Johnson Ranger? Well, number one, it's obvious that if you don't have it, you're going to constantly be using this rotary switch until you eventually wear it out. And good luck finding one. All right, so I do offer that module. And in past videos, I've showed installing that module into the Johnson Ranger, but I didn't tell you why that's a good idea. So let me show you what's going on behind the scenes. So listen closely when I rotate the function switch. Hear that? That little pop pop? That's not the switch itself. That's arcing going on on the wafers of that switch. Let me show you. So here is the rotary switch that I showed you on the front of the Ranger. This is your function switch, okay? If you pay attention right back here on the second wafer, when I turn the switch, you're going to see some arcing. See it? Right down there. So what's going on is when you're toggling the switch, you're applying a load to the power supply. So yeah, it's going to arc a little bit. And every time that happens, it's taking away little microscopic pieces of the metal on those contacts and eventually it'll eat enough of it away to where the switch just won't function anymore and that's the point you don't want to get to the best thing to do is get a push to talk system installed so you don't have to flip that switch anymore so to stop the arcing on that switch the solution is install a push to talk system so instead of having to rotate that switch, you're simply going to squeeze your microphone like you would any other radio. You can come up with your own system. It's no big deal. Here's the one that I use. What this does is this module will plug into the spot of the 6AX5 rectifier tube. So that guy comes out. This guy has the diodes on the base that take place of that tube. And then I steal the filament voltage to power my module. So that's what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to show the install in this video because I've already showed this process in detail on a previous video. So I will post the link so that you can refer to that. I'm going to go ahead and get this installed. We'll test it and see if we have eliminated the arcing on the switch. Well, here's what the installation looks like. The 6AX5 tube removed, push to talk module in its place. The wiring going into the wafer switches. Good to go. The only other thing you could do if you want is remove your rectifier tube, the 5R4. You could solid state that, keep the heat off the board, and also make the Ranger run a little more efficient. All right, push to talk is installed. So you can go to standby mode, show key, but there's no transmit. Go to phone, no snappity pops, right? And there we are. You can see the modulation over here swinging. We're transmitting. So there it is. There's my plate current. Dip it. Working flawlessly. Another successful push to talk installation. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tech tip and that it has value to you, especially if you're trying to maintain your vintage ham transmitter. But the other subject we need to talk about is D-Lab stepping into the future with this viewer screen, which I'm gonna call it. It's actually a laptop. It's on a articulating arm. So when I'm not using it, I can swing it out of the way. So not only will it be good for me to use schematics without having to have paper in the shop, 
it's also going to be good for you because I'm going to do some Skyping and in the future I'm going to do some streaming, right? So the details will be on my website and if you elect to chime in and want to be part of my videos, your opportunity is on the way. So we'll see you in the near future on DLab Electronics.